Hey, what is up guys? It's ZJ127 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video showing you guys what I believe are the top 10 must-have downloads for your PC. If you just bought a new PC, this is a very helpful video. I suggest you watch the whole thing. I will be putting uh, timestamps in the description so you can skip through uh, to the next, you know, the next download if you don't like all my talking, but... I suggest you sit here and watch it because it's pretty well worth it if you just got a new PC and you're curious as to what might be something that you want to download. Um, now there are 10 things on this list. I didn't include a bonus because I remember in my top 10 social apps for iPhone 5 I had a bonus. But I kind of just came up short on time, so let's just start with this. Now the reason I'm not actually showing you how it looks in the actual app is because of personal uh, information so I'm just gonna show you what it is on their website so Skype is a video calling service that enables you to call people across the country or across the world anywhere um, on the globe and you can there's a certain amount of things that you can do with a free version so this is free um, you can always get free down like free updates and a Skype account is free to ho like to host an account is free um, you can have video and voice calls to only one person at a time on Skype so one one-on-one -on -one video chat you can also do IM and file sharing which is really good um, you can pay to call people's cell phones and landlines across the world and those rates are going to be under prices in the rates tab and you can send text messages as well as call and you can also have Skype Wi-Fi but keep in mind that you have to pay for it it's not like AT&T for example where they give you free Wi-Fi wherever you go as long as you're on an AT&T um, telephone but they have over 2 million public hotspots so what happens is you can download it from right here I'll just give you this link in the description um, and they have all these devices that work with Skype unfortunately it does not work with the Xbox 360 so far they only listed Xbox One, PlayStation Vita and iPod Touch for example um, they have the downloads right here as I said I actually just click that again they either have Mac or Linux or you can have it for Windows which would be Windows 8.1 and it would come with a Windows 8 version right there or you can just run it in desktop mode like I have um, premium you can have group video calling that's all I'm gonna say so that it's easier you know so I just save time so next we have 7-Zip. 7-Zip is an actual, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a workaround to WinRAR, which extracts uh, files that are compressed. So, let's see here. Desktop, actually, because it didn't open right where I wanted it. So let me just show you what happens. So you see this is compressed, right? so you highlight it and you click extract when you click OK it extracts and when you open it you can see all of the things that are in it and for example if I were to run that and there it is so it, it's extracted so it basically helps if it's uh, compressed I'm sorry for that I did not intend for that to happen so that just helps if because a lot of things nowadays are compressed so that just makes it an easier you know download or transfer or whatnot so the next thing you want to do because compression uh, helps save file size but when you actually open the file you can see what it's like through this app how big it is now when this is done scanning I'm gonna show you everything that's on here 
Alright, so that actually took a little bit longer than expected, but basically when it finishes scanning how much is on a disk, it will show up in a convenient tree map like this. And when you, um, when you click on something, you can see how big each file is and what's taking up a load of space and what's not. So for example, this is my whole C drive and that's about 250 gigs. And then all of these are little song samples. Actually, wait, no, the songs would be somewhere over here. Actually, they're they're different color, but never mind that. Um, yeah, here's all my loops that I get off of Looperman.com. You know, they're they're very small, so they're they're sized on file size. Um, all right. Now that that's out of the way, let me just check these off because I have a little list right here. Team Viewer. What Team Viewer is, when you open it, I'm going to connect with my phone really quick just so I can show you. This is one of the features. So, the password that comes with it, right? Let's just connect. And it's going to pop up in the right corner. Wait a minute. Um. I did not plan for this. There it is. It's going to pop up in the right corner. And I'm not using my mouse. Just take my word for it. Because it says right there, my iPhone. So, I'm using my phone to control this right now. And as you can see, the desktop does, like the background, does, does disappear while you are uh, remote controlling it from your phone. So I'm just going to close my connection, and the desktop is back. And that's just one feature. There's also TeamViewer Quick Support, which you can download for uh, helping somebody that is not really good at technology. And there's a link right there, free for private use. You can buy it to use it for customer, I mean commercial use, but... I'm not doing that. And I just accidentally closed the link, so let's just skip to the next one, which would be Steam. Now Steam is a gaming soft uh, platform hoster thing that has about 2,000 titles and counting. But I will say that it is very good they do have sales flash sales constantly I like it it's better than arc but arc is not on my list but I'm just gonna show you and actually yeah okay so you can have free to play games now those are really good for example I have Warface um, I have the world of guns I have a lot of things from the free uh, free section and I just needed to say that as a filler so here's ARC it's very different as you can see there's a it's your library I mean the the tabs are kinda switched around and some of them like this one it'll be the same as this one they just word it differently but anyway, you see the idea. I, I'm telling you guys, I really prefer that Arc is not over Steam, but it's your choice. So next, we have Screencast-O-Matic, which is what I'm using to record this video. So when we go into here, you can see that it's free when you get it. Or you can go pro for $15 a year and have unlimited recording. You can publish your screenshots. You can have editing tools. All the all these features that you can see. And there's no watermark. But right now I have the free version only. And it's 15... I mean, yes, 15 minutes um, at a time. And there will be a watermark in the left corner. So there's that. Okay, let's just skip on. Now next we have Spotify. Spotify compares well to iTunes Radio and Pandora, 
for being a music streaming service that everyone can use and when you open the link that'll be in the description it's right there it's right there in your face just download it and you'll know where to go from there you can see all these you know bands and songs well you know some of them might be your favorite people and it syncs across all your devices but on your device if you do not have premium you can only listen in shuffle mode so that would be um you can't select what you want but on the PC you can so that's out of the way now next is a workaround for Microsoft Office 365 called Libre LibreOffice which would mean free office but still so you have your impress presentation which is PowerPoint um, this corresponds to PowerPoint this corresponds to Word this uh, I'm sorry let's go back uh, okay this corresponds to Excel um, I believe this corresponds to no actually I'm not sure what that corresponds to paint probably um let's just close that and the last one would be I'm not sure what this is but oh this is like OneNote but that is a free workaround to uh, 365 and I would recommend it because it also saves in the same file format so like you type this right you can choose file formats that it'll save in so like Microsoft Word right here it could save as .doc it'll save as .odt uh, to start with but you can change that in the settings so next we have a workaround to Photoshop which would be called paint.net now paint.net is like paint but it comes with uh, let's just open paint up for side by side it comes with all these different little tools for example if I were to open an image okay uh, if I were to open this image right I can change the color that I'll be drawing with right there I can change uh, for example the magic wand highlights closed in spaces I can do anything that paint can do and more basically I can edit hues and whatnot so let's just close that and basically take take paint and add a little bit of Photoshop effects to it that's what paint.net is and the last thing that I would recommend that you get is called Dexpot. Now what Dexpot is, it basically, let me show you, let me stop saying basically too, for desktops. It lets you switch between desktops. I don't know if you can see this, but there are four desktops in each corner of my screen right now. And for example, if you have a lot of open tabs or uh, a lot of down like when you're downloading things what you want to see that you've downloaded you can just move it over to desktop 2 for example so you can right click on that the window catalog will show you where it's opened um, I think that paused my video but I'm not so sure so let's just skip that you can see how it works when you get them when you get them where you get them actually will be from my video in the description I've said that about three times I just wanted to make sure it was in your heads so I think you guys will be set with these um, because you can with that Dexpot app that I just showed you it'll basically allow for multitasking you can have Spotify going in one you can have Skype going in the other I don't know why you would listen to music and be on a video call at the same time because I can barely hear that but you get the idea so thanks for watching this video it's ZJ127 and I hope you guys have a great 4th of July which was when this video re was recorded